Sup Leo, welcome to the tower. Today we're going to be doing a special. We're going to be doing um, singles taken and forsaken. So we're going to be doing a 3D, 4D, 5D spread for singles, a 3D, 4D, 5D spread for those in union, and a 3D, 4D, 5D thread spread for those out of union. Or forsaken. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this. As always, buttons and bells, if this does help you out and you guys enjoy these readings, uh, comments are always appreciated. The description has all kinds of Facebook web pages and things of my friends and their stores and their channels and all that good jazz and even my stores and stuff like that. So let's get on into it. Singles, Leo. What do we got? We'll get Earth Magic. We'll get an Intuitive Oracle card. And we'll do our 3D, 4D, 5D. I don't know. Dream time. Creation. All right. What are we going to do? Intuitive tarot. birth all right what do we got on the 5d angels spirit guys celestials over souls what do we got going on on the 5d connections here so 5d got to say about what's going on dealt out to you. I'll turn those around when it comes to my turn. All right. I only read reversals as long as there's one upright on the line, but there's not. So those will be all considered upright. Universe just wanted you to see them that way. All right. Here we go. What do we got going on on the 4D telepathic connections to you, your friends, and web, whatever you got going on. What's thumping around in that noggin? What's going on on the 4D? Three D. What's going on on the three D? What's the narrative on the three D? What's the optics? What's going on on the three D? We definitely got the end of a major cycle here for you. I definitely got you have Ten of Swords here and the Ten of Wands, right? So it's kind of like what? Accepting that what burdens are yours to carry, what aren't yours, and ending the things that are causing you a lot of mental anguish, right? Definitely got the fairy and the ogre hand here, right? I feel like there's this very gentle, loving large soul around you right that light that wants to protect you right either wants to protect you or you're the fae that it wants to protect right i definitely see a nine of cups energy with this going on here and a lot of passion a lot of passion what you got going on leo what you guys got going on right definitely got this intense energy of I'm getting mixed communication about love, mixed signals about love, like not 100% sure, a little bit confusing. You got flying pigs, you're not really sure, right? It's not 100% communicated with this immature energy. It's like 
they're throwing you the smolder and you're supposed to figure it out, right? I do see that your a lot of your focus is mostly on your friend connections like that. I see that you're a little bit defensive still, right? You're defensive because you're still not quite sure where it is you want to take your path, but you know that you want to choose it yourself and plan it yourself, right? You want to be the queen of your reality and your timeline, you know, and you want to be able to love and nurture those around you that you love and have nurtured you. All right. I do get a sense of there's still some shadow work to be done, still some secrets and things to be owned and worked through and things of that nature. You do got the chariot here. You are being pulled by fate and fortune in these directions. These are things that are meant and people and connections you are meant to make and work with, right? Got the ace of pentacles. It is time to start making moves within the 3D and making things come into fruition. I do see the hermit here. There is still a lot of introspection being done and needed to be done. Don't allow your own introspection be a projection of things that you're insecure about onto other people. Maintain you maintain that fountain of love energy, right? All right, we got dream time creation. Definitely tap into creating things. It's time to birth new cycles and create things and bring them into this world. All right. Taken Leos. What you got going on, my taken Leos? I said, yeah, for me, that's birth. What birthing some birthing a child is channeling a soul from the ether into reality, right? So the universe is now calling single Leos to channel something from the ether and birth it into reality. All right, what do we got for our Leos in unions? What do we got for our Leos in unions? Mountain strength. Song cheerleader just came on in my head just so you know all right 5d what's going on with the oversouls celestials Forty. What's going on on the forty? What's going on in everybody's head? What's going on with telepathic connections? All right, I do got that we're starting out with the Five of Swords and ending with it over here. So there definitely is a conflict, right? And it's a lot of mirroring and projection. It's learning to love yourself and not projecting, right? 
and not accepting other people's projections, right? It's definitely an imbalance going on. Someone is putting off that toxic playboy player energy, right? Oh, I can get a dozen bunch of people, blah, 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 blah. False confidence going on here. False confidence going on here. And someone's got a defensive mode going on. See that tongue for a head? Call, call, bang, bang, right? Definitely a lot of that going on. And I think it's just a lot of self-love projection and mirroring going on. There's also definitely on the 40 here on your minds, there's some worry about money, some leaps that want to be taken, not feeling like these things are a good idea by both parties, right? Still some sneaking around, some information needing to be done, not trusting it, right? There's a lot of working on balancing emotion here right? Taking the time to try and balance your emotion to make sure that you're not making rash moves out of ego, right? Make sure if you're going to rush in to save somebody that you have even anything to offer to help save them, right? Or to help them, right? If even if it's your partner, um, you might not be the one that has the answer to save them from that, right? Just be mindful because this also comes with the warning of being opinionated and hasty with your tongue. Jumping to conclusions right now i do see that certainly there is i mean you got ten of cups right this is a beautiful loving happy home happy life right this is nine of cups this is people who know how to be independently happy amongst themselves this is emperors knowing who's in control of what and delegating responsibilities within the home there is some sort of toxic i'm gonna go with an addiction instead of just a toxic connection unless this is something you guys share and feed into each other and make it a problem there's definitely some sort of toxicity here that there has been battles about but here's the thing the battle is over it is now time to see what actions people take you can't just keep bringing up the past over and over and over again someone is not letting go of that all right we got uh the mountain strength card here with this card i always go with the saying that um from tick not kong it goes I am a strong, my foundations are as strong as a mountain. My waters are as calm as its lakes, right? It's really a strong, it's a strong message on grounding into your base, into your feet and into the earth and breathing and calming the waters of your emotions before you respond to things. There's still a lot of hope in this situation, okay? Sorry, right, y'all, I got an itch on my back. Oh, man. Can I get it? Can I get it? All right. Got it. I got it. All righty. Forsakens. What do we got for the Forsaken Leos? Lotus Unfoldment. strength slid right off the top there all right let's go ahead and get your five days celestial oversouls angels what do we got going on for these forsaken What's on the 40? What's on the telepathic connections and what's going on here with the Forsaken?
going on on the 3D. Hey. Oh. Sure, that was sexy. I don't care. I don't care. You're supposed to be here for the cards. All right, y'all. So. I definitely got. You got the double eights here, right? So you get the eight of cups. This is, um able to be reversed but the eight of rods is a needing to move on unable to move on right this is making you very defensive not very nurturing wanting to cut off be cold right i got the seven of swords here what just believing that there's a t this the both of these this is seven of swords is believing that there's a ton of deceits and things going on right an inability to let that go and then you got this king of wands here right unable to show emotions not wanting to show any passions he's very cold too right on the 4d i see this is a victory for you whether you feel it or not right now right this is a victory for you. I do feel like the being cold is the answer that you should have right now. It's getting the message of the game ends when you stop playing. And I find that that is a victory for you, right? That is a victory for you. You got the Queen of Wands. This is the Divine Feminine Leo energy, right? Coming back into that passion. There's definitely a lot of feminine energy here. Which just means that you're really tapped into the nurturing, emotional, intuitive side of the energies that are playing out, right? Because you got the Queen of Swords here too as well. Taking that higher perspective. Moving forward. Seeing things for what they are. And just being in, trying to be as well in control of your thoughts and words as possible. You are moving on. You might not be fully moved on yet. I do see that you've kind of had to blindfold yourself to certain things. Meanwhile, you got these, I feel like, Kaka, Kaka, you're doing it. Do it this way. Go this way. Go that way. Da -da. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. And all it is is just distractions. And you're just trying to get through. So I feel like you have blindfolded yourself on purpose to stay on path, right? You got the Six of Pentacles. You're aware of energy is supposed to be an equal give and take right i give you so much energy you're supposed to return it to me i give you so much money i'm supposed to get some sort of compensation in return whether it's giving me a ride a lift something like that but it's supposed to be even give and takes it's not always supposed to be one person constantly giving to the other you understand that now i feel like a lot of this was lessons in that right there is going to still be some secrets that will be coming out about this right i suggest that you don't go seeking them i suggest that you maintain what you need to nurture and ground and water it right you need to worry about your own surroundings and the lives and things that you care for that you're responsible for, right? I see this person is pretty beat up. I see that you're pretty beat up. You got your defenses up. You have every right to. You got the queen of wands again. Divine feminine Leo energy, right? Stay burning bright. Embrace that high vibing energy right live that right focus your thoughts and words don't allow other people to dictate what you say or get you to respond right We got unfoldment with the lotus here the whole story behind the lotus is the lotus has to be planted in the darkness and mud and muck and yucky swamps and things like that and then it blooms up out of the mud and the muck and then it blooms up over the water and then it covers the water in beautiful blooms the most beautiful flowers in the world but they have to go through a lot to become that beautiful this path for you has been all to teeth you strength and yes an elephant never forgets and like i've said before in some of my other videos is everyone i've ever loved has carved their initials on my heart and the past the scars let us know that that past was real and it was here to bring us strength to endure and keep going on these journeys all right leo that's all the messages that i have for you today
If this helped you, as always, buttons, bells, check out the description for more fun stuff. Blessed be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me. I love y'all. I'm going to be back just as soon as I can. I promise.